Ohio. My name is Minumi Toku and welcome back to Virtue's Last Reward Part 7. Now Sigma has been pondering why he is even here and what's happening to him. So yeah, I hope we can finally get into a puzzle room this time. I spent a few minutes wallowing in my misery. I figured I deserved at least a little self-pity. But even I knew that brooding and whining wasn't going to get me anywhere. Yes, then get your butt to work then. Like Kay had said, we needed to at least try and find another way out. So I shook my head to clear it, stood up straight and headed off. Um, does it actually matter? I don't know. Well, we have been to the lounge, so let's just check out the infirmary. Maybe there's something else in there. Hello there. Thanks for showing us how you open the doors. Every single time. So, hello there. How's it going? You guys find anything? Hello, Mr. Sigma? Mr. Sigma? Oh, quart. Nothing yet. Well, no. Alice, Clover, and I did go over this room quite thoroughly. Mm -hmm. I doubt you'll find any hidden hallways here. Why are you back here, then? Uh, well, I was concerned about the lady you found. Oh, is she still there? Oh, she's behind there. Yep. Do such a horrible thing. Given what we know so far, you're the most likely candidate. <laughs> Thanks, Vi. Please. Why would I kill this woman? Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying the evidence points to you right now. Still at that, right? If we right? find more evidence in the future, that could change. Oh, whatever. We were so busy earlier that I never got to ask, but do any of you know who she Meets is? Me. I've never seen her before. Well, Temyoji looked like he knew her. I don't know her either. Neither do I. Well... I suppose I might have known her before I lost my memories, but there's no way to know, is there? Mm, no, probably you not. still can't remember anything? No. Not even a little, unfortunately. Okay, still at the last end. Well, you better be telling the truth about this amnesia Are stuff. Are you suspicious of me too, Sigma? Uh, well, the things uh, that are going on with Thai... I think we should be suspicious of everybody, basically. Suspicious? Have you looked in a mirror lately? You might as well have a suspicious tattooed across your forehead. If someone ran into you on the street at night, they'd probably pass out from fright. <laughs> or maybe thanks, even the day. Well, thanks, Quark. Oh, I'm Ouch. so sorry. I apologize for my frightening appearance. <laughs> But K seems like a nice guy. Also, why is the wall showing through his armor here? Well, it's not really something you need to apologize for. I mean, it's not your fault, no, right? I suppose not. But yeah, it's suspicious well, either way. I assume not. But. But what? I'm not sure why, but none of this feels particularly strange. Okay. Well, that's strange, then. The mask and the suit, I mean. In a way, it almost feels... natural. Okay. I don't feel as though I was forced into it. So, you've been in... there, or you... You're, you've been accustomed to it before? Are you saying this is how you always look? No, I don't think that's it. Then what is this it? This might be a pretty obvious question, but... Is there any way for you to take it off? No, I've tried several times to no avail. Okay, so but maybe there, there there's like a switch or something hidden in a spot you you can't reach with your own arms. Like yeah. I honestly don't even know where to start. Ah, but there is something I'd like to ask of you. Yep. There are parts of the suit I can't see. Could you have a look and tell me if perhaps there is a switch or something similar? Nice plan. So... Let's undress him then. With no further warning, he removed his robe and turned his back to us. 
It took no time at all to find something of interest. Open. Ah, the back of his head, huh? There's a hole here on the back uh, of your head. Hole? Yeah, it looks like you insert something. It says open. So maybe if you put some kind of key in there, well, that would be a pretty large key then. You could open up the suit and take the mask off. I see. That's excellent news. We just need to find whatever it is that goes in there then. Yep, and that's probably the problem. Oh. Thank you. But why... Why, why did you remove your rope if it was on your head? I mean, your head is not covered by the rope, so you could have just turned around and then removed the rope. I feel somewhat relieved. I was beginning to fear I might have to spend the rest of my life like this. Wait, a minute ago you said that it felt natural. Mm -hmm. It does, but that doesn't mean I want to stay in it forever. True Imagine that. having glasses, for instance. Yeah. Wearing them doesn't feel strange. You'd hardly want to wear them all the time, forever, would you? Mm, well, I have to wear glasses all the time. Because otherwise uh, I, I, I won't even be able to tell... Well, I, I know that there's a camera and that my, my face is supposed to be on the screen there. And when I do this, uh, some pixels move around and yeah. I, I can make s some of that out, but if I wouldn't know that it was there, I wouldn't even recognize it. And I mean, I'm like, wh what is this half a meter away from the camera? I can't even see that far. But I must admit, sleeping with glasses on, depending on the position, well, lying on the, on the side, then it, the mattress or the cushion presses on here in the frame, yeah, you're right. Not all the time, but it would be possible, technically. That's what wearing the suit is like. Well, I think that's enough about me. Should we move to the next room now? Yeah, thank no. you. No? There still might be something here. I'm staying. So me you're too. staying. I see. Well then, I will move ahead and see how our companions are doing. What do you intend to do? Uh, I'll move on. I think I'll be moving along to you. To uh, let's go to the crew quarters. I was thinking I might go over to the crew well. quarters. I shall head for the lounge then. Okay. Until we meet again. Excuse me. Have fun there. Kay's rope floats silently around him as he turned to leave. I made my way out of the infirmary behind him. Bye then. So let's go to the crew quarters haven't been there so let's just uh, see how this looks like thanks for showing how to open the door and who is in here actually one three huh so these are the crew quarters huh oh Temyoji. sigma what are you doing here um looking around Hey, come on, man. Don't be like that. We aren't enemies, are we? Uh, I wonder. Thanks for the doubt. What happened to you, Temyoji? You've been acting weird ever since we found that lady's body. Oh, you think so? Well, you knew her, Are right? you sure it ain't just all in your head? Don't be, don't be so defensive about it. Well, fine. Let's move on to something else then. You and Quark. Is he your uh, grandkid? Why, do you know? why? Well, I mean, why do you think? He keeps calling you grandpa, of course. I'm gonna wonder what the deal is. We all got kidnapped and brought here, apparently for no reason. Now they're making us all play some sort of weird game. And I'm just trying to find a little meaning in all of this nonsense. That's it. Tell me, Tamioji. Are you really Quark's grandpa? Oh, interrupting. Hello there, Clover. Luna. Where'd you come from? Uh, from the infirmary? Why do you, did you not want me here? No, it's okay, I guess. Oh, thanks for the support of words, Clover. I just thought Tenmyoji was the only other person here. 
Oh, so wanted to, you wanted to this back to him. This is the headquarters. I came here with Clover and Tenmyoji. We decided we'd split up to investigate. Mm-hmm. Huh, makes sense. So, you find zero. anything? What? You found zero? No, I meant I found zero things. Ah, thank you. What about you? Anything suspicious? I didn't find anything either. Although, I guess you could say this whole facility is suspicious. <laughs> You don't see. Yeah, you've got a point there. So why do you think Zero put all these puzzles and stuff all over the place? Oh, I remember this one. The crew... When we get to the crew quarters and... When when we get to the point where we need to do this puzzle... Ooh, this will be fun. Hmm. Well, maybe solving all of these puzzles is part of the Nonary game. Maybe? Not maybe, it is. I mean, you, you you need to solve them to like get further on in the game. So it already is a part of this. So I thought the Nori games was a couple rounds of the AB game. Why would he need the puzzles and stuff then? Well, what is the Nori game then? Why is Zero making us do um, all this? Well, this is just um speculation, but. Yeah. Maybe it's for entertainment, so rich, powerful people can watch. That would be incredibly cruel, then. Entertainment? Yes. They're probably off in an opulent theater, watching us struggle while they drink brandy and eat caviar. You have some imagination. Well, you think so, huh? so some rich bastards killed her off for kicks. So what you do know that? her. Maybe her dying didn't have anything to do with the rest of the game. Did it? No. Kay was right. If her dying wasn't part of all this, the rabbit would have said something. Mm. But what we get? Nothing. Just tells us to keep playing and disappears. True that. I can only think of one reason he'd do that. And Murdering that is? was always part of Zero's plans. Now, if you can think of another way all this fits, well, I'd love to hear it. So you're saying that Zero Senior is the one who murdered the old lady? Now it sure looks that way. That means there's a 7 in 1 chance anybody could be the murderer. 7 in 1 chance, or even two people at once. Wait, 7? Well, Alice and I can't be Zero. Why? I'll let the eye part go, but you're gonna have to give me a little to convince me Alice isn't can't what? be zero. Come on. Alice and I know each other. Ah. Well, um, how do you know each other? Yeah, that's what I wondered. Uh, I guess you could say we're co-workers. Co-workers? And where do you co-work? Organization? Clover, please. Give us some more info that's about that. kind it. of vague. What kind of organization ah this is like a bad interview where do you work at an organization uh, duh yeah what kind of organization yeah well the typical type of organization y you just need to pull the information out of their noses oh those are Mostly those are people who either want to like they're they're pissed off and they're like ah, I don't want I, I don't want the interview to go on or like people who who aren't like used to being interviewed or it's just their way of living. I mean I was interview there was a mock interview once like just to train our interview skills and it turned out like I, I was doing this subconsciously and well we agreed to talk about Japan and she, she was uh, like oh yeah so you've been to Japan yes and then he was like oh yeah when did you go to Japan oh well in 2013 Okay, how how long? I mean, I wasn't doing this consciously. I I, I mean, it, it was a it was like a class on interviewing, and I mean, 
I didn't want to like piss her off or, or anything, but it's just the way how, how how I was that day and I just gave short answers. But for her, yeah, I mean the, the teacher was also sitting there and he, he was afterwards like, yep, you get those types of people too. And it's a pain to get information out of them. Also, if you ask yes or no questions, then you're getting yes or no answers. But if you ask like, why would you do something? Then the interview partner needs to, more, to elaborate more. So yeah, what kind of organization? You can answer that in one um, word. That's, that's a secret. I can't tell you. Why not? What? What do you mean you can't I tell mean, us? I can't tell you. Just forget about it, okay? Why? Why, why can't you tell why us? Can't you tell us? Thanks, Luna. Because you can't tell. Confidential. Hmm. So you're working for a secret I organization, I then? Tell. Oh come on! Don't give me that. Look around you, Clover. You really think this is the time for? Pay, playing it close to the yeah. chest. But what if the people you work for have something to do with what's going on here? Yeah. Well, then she would know, probably. You're right. Maybe I should tell you. Not finally. Sorry, but I just don't really trust you guys. Oh, thanks. I mean, what if one of you is zero? It could be any of you. Sorry. Hmm. True that. Anyway, I think that's enough about me and Alice. So you know I each other. I just don't really feel like I can trust you guys. Maybe if that changes, then I can tell you. Okay. At least something. Thank you. So. Also, why are you dressed like I that? I guess I'll go now. Go. Where, Where are you going? I don't know. I haven't really figured it out yet. So you just want to get out of then the I'll situation. Be going too. Thanks. Fine. Fine. Take me on. There she goes. So Timuji. I don't trust you any more than she does. Thanks. In other words, you aren't gonna tell me anything, Sorry. are you? Good. Well, that leaves the lounge, right? I left Timuji and headed back to the hallway. There were so many questions I wanted answers to, but it was looking like I'd have to suffer in ignorance for a while longer. Besides, there were plenty of more immediate problems that needed my attention. I sighed and filed my questions away to be dealt with later. I needed to focus. There was only one room I hadn't visited yet. The lounge. Which we searched thoroughly before. So, yeah. Let's go back there. The lounge is... Wait, so everybody would have... Needed to pass through the lounge then. Which is interesting. Oh, Sigma. Honk. Perfect timing. You were here earlier, right? Yep. Uh, I was. Fly, Luna, and I were the first into Did the room. Did you find anything suspicious? No. Like a uh, secret pathway or something. Well, a secret pathway to what? To your butthole? You really think that's the kind of detail I would have neglected Anything to mention? Else, then. Anything out of the ordinary? Well, there's a clock that shines onto the globe and then you get some kind of password. Well, I think that's pretty much out of the ordinary if you ask me. Well, I mean everything about this room is out of the ordinary. How about this? We needed to solve we needed this to solve the puzzle. It's an astronomy, uh, astro, uh, astronomy magazine. Great. Apparently, it's got an article about article about a lunar eclipse. So wait, we when Sigma was kidnapped, it was the twenty fifth of December. So we might be close to that lunar eclipse then. Says so it's going to happen on December thirty first. This New Year's Eve then. Mm hmm Six days from now. Well, you don't know that. Wait, what did you say? What do you mean six days? 
I mean, you don't know how much time has passed. Oh, well, today's Christmas, right? So... Wait a minute. When were you grabbed? Uh, didn't you hear me? On Christmas, about two or three in the morning. Wait, did they pick you up on a different day? Yeah. When then? I was abducted in the middle of the night on December 22nd. Okay, so that's earlier. What about you? I, I think it was the 20th. Even earlier? H how, but, like, how do you survive five days unconscious? How does it and work? We were all taken on different days. Doesn't mean we were just sleeping until the nonary game started? Yeah, but how would you survive? Maybe they kept us on a soporil IV drip or something. Uh, soporil? Wasn't that in the, the last game? 999? The soporil thing? Wasn't that a pain medication or something? In theory, you could have everyone wake up at the same time if you got the dosage right. Oh yeah, it is uh, anesthesia, anesthesia medicine. Then today, today might not even be the 25th. I think that's likely. Yeah, some of us were probably abducted after you. We need to ask that. Oh well, I guess that explains why I feel kind you of too? dizzy. I felt disoriented since I woke up. My body doesn't feel right. Yeah, but I mean, you would still need to eat. I don't get Maybe it. Maybe it's because we were asleep for so long. Your muscles start to atrophy if you don't use them. Yep. Uh, then... What day is today even? Beats me. I have no idea. Okay, great. Maybe Fi knows? Well, what about you guys? Was there anything interesting in the crew quarters or the nah, infirmary? nothing in the quarters. Oh, well, there was a book about a cat. Book about a, a cat. cat? Yeah. Something about a cat in a box and whether it's dead or alive. Oh, Schrodinger's cat. Doesn't make any sense to me, though. Hmm. Well, it doesn't really sound like something that's going to help us get yeah, out of here. I didn't think so either. Maybe? I mean, this technically is a box, so if you don't open the box, then the outside wouldn't know if we are still alive or not. How about the infirmary? Find anything interesting? Well, actually, there was one thing. Oh, so all of a sudden, everybody else is saying, oh no, we didn't find something interesting. And now all of a sudden, yeah, Dio is like, oh yeah, I got a book about Schrodinger's cat. And now Alice what? is like, oh yeah, I've got something I wasn't interesting. Trying to hide it. The right moment to mention it just never came up. What is it? You don't need to apologize. Just tell us what well, you found. See for yourself. Radical six infection spreads. Looks yeah, like it was in the safe in the infirmary. Okay. Let me see that. Radical six infection spreads. Cure continues to elude authorities. What's a radical six infection? What the heck? What's radical Just read six? The article. Okay. I swallowed and began to read. The radical 6 virus continues to spread across the globe like wildfire. The WHO has confirmed that the death toll is estimated to have passed 100,000 victims. Immediate quarantine of any infected patients is strongly advised. Okay, but what is radical 6? Do you think we are in a quarantine facility? You mean you think we got infected with this radical 6 thing? Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Then we should be all ill then, right? Well, we don't know anything for sure. But look at us. We seem pretty healthy. True that. Admittedly, I don't know what the symptoms of Radical 6 are. Well, if, if a newspaper article doesn't describe that, then it's not a good newspaper article. Or somebody just had copied some text out of the newspaper article and compiled it in a new way. That's the other option. But if it's killing people worldwide, they must be horrific. Now, mm -hmm. just look at this soft, lustrous skin. Thanks, Alice. This perfect, shapely face. Does this beauty look like something infected with an awful disease? 
Alice, thanks, but you're not seducting you us. You want to touch it, don't you, boy? I can see it in your eyes. Stop it, Alice. I... Oh, is that the organization you work for? Go on. Try. What's wrong with you? Who? Dio. Yes, I want to touch you. Thank you. Well, I am feeling a little that weird. Could just be from sleeping for a couple of days, or maybe it's a side effect of that drug. Now, besides, if this is where they ship people to quarantine them, don't you think there aren't enough uh, people? True that, but maybe all the others died. This thing is killing people all over the world, right? So why would there only be nine of us here? Yeah, I guess you you do have a point. Or they don't know which one of us is infected, and they know that some of us might have like a genetic trait or something that you can use as an ant antidote, and then you just need to test us in this way and see who survives, and then that's the pe person you you can make the antidote of out of. Which is, well, pretty cruel because if you got a disease that widespread and you possibly only have one person that has a genetic trait or has developed an antidote in their body, then you probably would need to kill that person in the process of making an antidote for the whole world. That's a tough decision then. Think about it. Zero is forcing us to play this nonary game. Why mm -hmm. would the government quarantine people and then make them play a game? True that. Yes, it is. So you're saying there's no connection between our abductions and this Probably virus? Not. Maybe, maybe, yes. Well, it's still something we should remember, I suppose. I mean, even if we're safe in here, our friends and families are still That's out true. here. I hope they're all right. Wait a minute, when did this virus actually show up? I've never heard of Neither it before. Have I. Me either. So at least some days must have passed then. So what day is it? If this radical six killed hundreds of thousands of people while we were asleep, just how long have we been here for? I don't That's think another good question. That well, Let's just suppose we asked everybody else, then you have at least a time span you can rule out. If we want the truth, we need to find more information. Yeah, well, doesn't... Yep, so we just... Oh, four minutes. Shit, uh, we're late. All right, then. We should hurry. Good. Yes, go on. Run. I want to get through the next door. Thank you. Finally, a puzzle. New puzzle. Uh, but like, it's almost time to end the episode and I haven't even, like, yeah, started a puzzle yet. Thank you. Yeah, this thing is like half a visual novel and half a puzzle game or an escaped room game. So yeah. And usually the visual novel part takes a long time. Hello there. It opened. Thank you. Chromatic doors have opened. Thank you, announcer. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. You're late. Thank what the you. What are you doing? Well, we found out some stuff, so yeah. That's not good. Sorry. Enough. You realize we could die here, right? Hey, whoa! Calm down, there, girl. I made it in time. Barely. We've only got five minutes left. You're a yellow pair. Who do you think your partner is? Gee, I wonder. Ugh, hmm. son of a... Come now, Fi. Please, calm down. Come now, Fi. Please, calm down. Fighting mm. now helps no one. The, the K is like a, a Buddhist monk. Like, oh, it's not worth fighting over something. Just calm down and everything will be great. He's right, you know. The doors have already opened. We need to hurry up and figure out our teams. <laughs> what did I do to deserve this asshole? Nothing. So, uh, how should we pair up? Out of time. I'll just explain it as fast as I can. Just like Good. before, there are only three possible combinations. 
The options Phi laid out for us were the following. Option A. Alice and I, Cyan, would pair up with Luna Yellow and go through the green door. There we go. Tamiyoji Quark would pair up with Clover and open the blue door. That's one. Phi and Dio Yellow would pair up with K Magenta and open the red door. Or option B, Alice and I would pair up with Magenta and go through the blue door with K. Tamiyoji Quark would pair up with Luna and open the red door. And Phi and Dio would pair up with Clover and open the green door. Option C, Alice and I, Cyan and Clover would pair up and go through the red door. So... Oh, yes, you can also go through the opposite doors. Tamiyoji and Quark Magenta will pair up with K and open the green door and pair up with Luna. Yes. Thank you. Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Hello, announcer. Thank you for your announcement. <laughs> All right, so I'm what are we doing? Okay. Huh? We'd end up playing against each other in the next AB game. Last time, hmm. you betrayed Clover. How am I supposed to know you won't do the same to me? <laughs> you can't be trusted. How unfortunate. Ah. To be honest, however, I would rather not go with you either. Okay, what? Yeah. Why? Is that? Well, you only have one BP left. Um. I very much doubt you'll choose to ally in the next round. Ah, true Even that. If you promised me you would choose to ally, I'd be in an undesirable situation. Mm -hmm. You see, I wouldn't be able to choose to betray. Why? Because you get if plus did, zero. And you were true to your word and allied, then I would kill you. Hmm. So there you are. That is why I do not wish to be paired with Ten Miyoji. Logical explanation. Course, for the same reason, I would rather not be paired with Alice. That's not a problem. Sigma and I will be taking Clover. Okay. I trust her more than any of the rest of you. Yep. Oh, true I that. Go with Alice too. Hey, wait a minute. Don't they get a say in this? I would like to go with Sigma or Phi. They chose Ally last time. <laughs> Ooh, Thanks, I like Luna. The sound of that. I'm Phi's partner. You should pair up with us. Sound good? No. I am also opposed to that choice. <laughs> You have three minutes left, good gosh. And Clover pair up, and Luna and Dio pair up. The rest of us don't have a choice. We'll be yep. stuck with Phi's option C. I believe I mentioned before that I do not wish to be paired with Ten Miyoji. And I don't want to go with K either. Ah, goodness gracious. Then what the hell are we supposed to do? One minute remains until chromatic doors close. Thank you, announcer, for your announcement. Quark? It's Draw wrong, Quark. Over. This is it. We're all going to die. Are no. You all right? No. To be fair, Quark's voice sounds like li a bit like Zero's no. voice. That's not it. Don't you get it? We aren't gonna die. We have to die. We have to die here. Quark. Hey, Quark. What the hell? Oh, snap out of it, kid. Oh, come on, Quark. Talk to me. No, I'm fine. You're the crazy ones. Getting so serious about this stupid game. We should just stop. End this. End all of it. Uh, no, End Quark. Everything. What, what's wrong with you? We need to get him to the infirmary. No, we don't have time. True doubt. seconds. We don't yes, have a choice. Seconds. Quark's with me. I'll carry him through. But we still haven't figured out who's going where. I can't afford to be picky anymore. Someone just choose. I don't care who. We get to choose. Sigma, you have to choose. <laughs> because the main character, yes. Please Why me? Do it. We don't have any time left. Nine, eight. Mm. Yes. Seven. Come on. 
I swallowed. I, Alice and I will go for the green door with Luna, go for the blue door with Kay, go for the red door with Clover. So, as I said, I want to go through the floor, flow through here, right? So, actually, there's only two viable options then. Why is the game giving us free then? I have no idea. But in order to get to this timeline, I would need to go through the green door. And that's what we do now. Also, yeah, those choosing situations always, like, if you don't know where to go, you would, like, s probably sit there for minutes at a time and, like, oh, yeah, they, they said that and this and blah. It's a really interesting concept, which, well, I, I, I can't experience right now. First, I've played the game already and I know certain stuff. I mean, it's coming slowly back to my memory that certain characters and their relationships and stuff. But I'll just, I'll just keep quiet about that. And yeah, it's a shame that I can't give you like, show you like uh, me struggling to choose between doors because I know exactly what I want. So, we will go through this door. Alice! Luna! Green door! I'm coming! And the others need to figure out in a matter of seconds where to go. They both took off for the door and I followed behind the run. I glanced back over my shoulder in time to see the others head into their respective doors. Phi, Dio and Kay ducked into the red door, just as Tamioji carried Quark through the blue door, Clover right on his heels. Two, one, zero. Chromatic doors closing. Thanks for the announcement, as always. And thanks for showing how the door works. So that was the scanner then. Thanks. So this is a new map and we go through here. Treatment center. Whoa. Is this a dead All three end? Doors seem to be locked. That's unfortunate. What's it this thing like here? Device next to the number nine door. Why don't you try pulling the lever? Might as well. Oh, this one opens. We don't get to go to the treatment center. Huh? Look at the door it on opened. the right. Huh, that doesn't make sense. Why would just the one on the right open? How do you open the other two? You're probably just overthinking it. That door opened. That means we're going through it. Which is part of the game. Don't question it. Thank you. Maybe the other door is open it at some point. Don't go soft on me now. I'll leave you behind. Whoa, intense staring there, Alice. Enough. Let's go. Good. Let's go. And we end up here then. It's just Golden Bay, yes. That is where we want to be for the next puzzle section. Hello there. Whatever this thing is. What is this it is place? Kind of confusing, isn't it? Yes, it is indeed. And we finally, finally get to experience another puzzle section after like an hour, no, even even more of dialogue. Holy cow. Yes, this game is like that as I've already mentioned. So please be patient and you just need to get, go through there. Also, they give you in, in the visual novel part, they give you some clues and hints and things to think about like the radical six virus and stuff which is neat M maybe we can find out something in here about this what's happening i don't remember quite this part quite as well as i remember some of the other parts or well some s certain story elements got just back to me and it's yeah you will be surprised to say the least so Thanks everybody so much for watching. I will see you in the next video where we will finally be solving a puzzle again. So, see you then. Until then, stay true to yourselves.